Yo, what's up? We're now outside my home and behind me here, you see Millen the Falcon. That's the name of the car, yes, it's weird. It's a 2013 Tesla Model S P85. And it has done, well, actually what is relevant is that this battery has done 260,000 kilometers and it is over six years old. And it's, in this video, I'm going to calibrate and balance the battery. So a small disclaimer, what I'm going to do now is not 100% healthy for the battery, but it is necessary because I'm also going to uh, measure the degradation on it. And also what I do here, don't take this as the, don't, don't expect that everything I do here is correct, but this is one method I heard about that might be able to uh, balance and calibrate the battery. So um, the car has been charged up last night. I'm going to go inside and show you guys some stats. You see, the car has done almost 350,000 kilometers, but the battery was replaced when it was one year old, which is six years ago, uh, because of some uh, known issues back then. So that's why. But anyway, so I used to own this car between 2013 and 2016. 16 and then between 16 and until uh, just recently it's been owned by many other people and most likely those other people they've been staying between 90 percent and maybe 50 40 percent hang on let me turn on some lights here um which means that the way tesla battery and bms bms stands for battery management system the way it works is that uh, as long as you don't go to the extreme high levels which is 100% or extremely low to zero if you just stay in the middle here the BMS tends to under like under report the capacity and the, the reason why it does that is that if you go too high uh, you might damage the battery and also if you go too low you might also damage the battery so to be sure the BMS will actually be a little bit pessimistic. And this is important because when we are going to measure how much the battery has degraded, we have to get back, kind of restore and teach the battery what is the maximum, what is the minimum. So I've been actually doing a, a discharge cycle to 1% and then slowly charge it up to, well, 100%, but it didn't go to 100%. Last night it stopped at 98%. And this is what we are trying to fix. So uh, when the car stops at 98 or 97 or whatever, it doesn't mean that that it is a degradation. No, it means that the battery has not been calibrated. Even a battery that has degraded 10, 15% w should charge to 100%. So uh, to help us, we have this tool here. It's called Scan My Tesla. You can find out more about it in the description below. Um, what is important here is that uh, we have when I started doing the calibration, this one here, nominal full pack, which is uh, what the car estimates it has available from 100% to absolute zero, below 0%. It first estimated 69.5 kilowatt hour. And after doing a little bit of a calibration bala balancing cycle, it actually goes up. So does this mean that we have uh, fixed the degradation? No. Degradation is irreversible, just like people age is irreversible. But what happened was that by doing the cycles of uh, calibration, we are teaching the battery where the minimum and maximum is. And that's why it went from 69.5 to 70.1. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive and do another, some range test. Um, I'm going to drive to the north. It's not too relevant. And then I will come back here and the plan is to discharge it to absolute zero. So we're going to come back to that. So right now, yes, it's just charging and topping up a little bit. And off we go. All right, it's been several hours now. We have been charging the car to 98% when it stopped. Not too relevant. We've been driving it and now we're back here at Nevenes. Just going to top it up a little bit just so I can go back home. So... Um, the fun stuff starts at home. I'm going to show you. 
We are back home now and this is the next step of the calibration process. So back in the old days, I used to drive in circle around uh, Ikea at night until the car stopped. But I found a better way, which is to just park somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, but like preferably on the private spot where you're not disturbing anyone. And right here we have the type two charging cable right here. So once the car shuts down, we just plug it in. It's super safe this way. But next step now is, I'm gonna show you that. Well, if you look here in the display, the car reported at 0% left. So what we need to do this time is to run it down to absolute zero until the car stops. This will hurt the battery a little bit, but we are doing calibration. So yeah. Um, and the thing is that we will not, once we go to absolute zero and the car shuts down, we will plug it in right away. So that minimizes the damage to the battery, which is, okay, not that bad, but it's not optimal. You shouldn't do this too often, but okay, anyway, Right now, I'm gonna check something here. DC, DC voltage is 13.6, that's good. If this one's dropped below 12 and a half volt, then I should be worried. Because then that means that the DC, DC converter is not working. Right now it is working. Um, you see here, battery power, we're pulling one something kilowatt right now. And supposedly the car claims that we have another four kilowatt hour. So what we have to do now is to crank up the heat Okay, I, I don't know how, uh, it's gonna be freaking noisy. Just crank up the heat or some shit. And that will hopefully increase the battery power. I'm gonna try to find a way to increase this one so we can run it down to zero safely in the garage. Okay, we've been running it in the garage for a while and I just got a message. Um, there was a warning. Dur -dur -dur -dur. Let me show you here, there, it says battery charge level too low, charge now, vehicle may not wake up from sleep. I've seen this before when I did the 72 hour camping in a Model 3. So the status right now, oh it's getting pretty hot in here, is that the heater is pulling 5 kilowatt. That is insane amount of heat. And we are down to, well this app, Scala Tesla reported at minus 2. 0.5%, but if you look in the display here, the car just reports zero. Yeah. And what we're looking for here is this number here, which is that scan my Tesla, according to the BMS, claims that we have 2.3 kilowatt hour left. And this one here, the BMS max discharge will go down. It's like the power limit. Once this one goes down to almost zero, and this one also almost zero, then the car will most likely shut down. I'm also monitoring the, third, uh, the 12 volt battery system. It's now being charged from DC DC, so everything is safe. Yeah, so just pay attention to this one. So let's just chill a little bit more then. Whoop, there was another warning. Bloop. Uh, I'm not sure what the heck is going on right now. But um, this thing, no, I think it's not over yet, but it's getting close. That, the, the previous one was the first warning. This, is this, this might be this final warning. No, wait, I think it's dead. The battery is pulling almost no power right now. The max discharge is dropping and it still claims one kilowatt hour left, but we are pulling supposedly one kilowatt. Okay, it might not be over yet because supposedly we're supposed to hear a very distinct grunk once the car dies and this is also an indication that there is still something left wait where is it it's not dropping and this one is not dropping it seems like we're not pulling power i think that might be it the car is dead ded -E okay yeah charge now wait Wait, wait a minute, there's something wrong here. It's supposed to say car shutting down. And it didn't do it yet. Huh. Let's take a look at the voltages. So it says 2.91 volt. 
uh, we can take a look at the BMS top with uh, this one here. Ah, now this is still uh, not too low. You see, cell voltage is 3.1. Wait, but it's dropping. Yeah, it seems like the pack is still being discharged. Huh. Okay, let's wait a little bit more, but we have pretty high imbalance right now. Normally we would have 20 millivolt difference. Now we have 300, similar to the leaf. Yeah. And also another thing is that, yes, the 12 volt is still being charged. And supposedly, but the heat, the heat did stop though. Which then means that the car is pulling almost no power. No, I think the car is dead. It's just, yeah. This is a little bit different than the Model 3 I tried. So I think it's time to plug it in now. So now we're gonna plug it in. Um, yeah, you see, we still have 12 volt active, uh, which means that lights, doors, and charge port will still work. And the BMS is still working. It turns green immediately. And now, we should be charging. So we just have to wait. Oh, there's something here. Alert, unable to, oh, this one is a pretty good uh, indication, yeah. Once you get this message, unable to drive, <laughs> that usually means the end. Yeah, okay, now there's some warning about low battery, but they uh, don't care too much about it. Yeah, you see, now it's gonna take, <laughs> it's gonna take, almost 24 hours we just saw it briefly let's wait for this one to uh tick up so if you go here and check uh, sky my tesla you will see that now if this one is green it means that it is charging the battery so this is just what we need hopefully tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon the nominal full pack will be higher so we will see then it has been several days now since we discharged it to almost zero and meanwhile i've been slow charging it i haven't i have not dc fast charged it only been slow charging actually mostly on 3.7 or about 4.5 kilowatts ac so i want to give the battery and the bms time to balance and calibrate by charging slower but meanwhile though i've been using the car for running errands and stuff uh, but okay so it finished charging, it, or it, just, it stopped charging a couple of hours ago. And I'm gonna show you now what it looks like. I think we are almost done, but not completely done. So you see, it's not pulling anything from the, um, from the plug. And uh, remember that this, the, uh, the way we do it now, charging it to 100% and discharging it to zero, will hurt the battery slightly and this is not something you have to do on a regular basis it's just um, i'm going to do this because i'm going to measure the degradation of the battery so if you look here it stopped at 97 <laughs> percent um and why didn't it go to 100 percent well you one one explanation could be that the battery is cold but 16 degrees Celsius is not considered cold. If it was zero degrees or five degrees Celsius, yes, that would make more sense. Uh, but however, <clears throat> scan my Tesla will always show you the true state of charge, whereas the display here will usually, um, if the battery is cold, you will see lower state of charge here. For example, just to give an example here, if the battery would be at five degrees or zero degrees Celsius, this display might show you only 92% but then this display will show you 97% and the 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 reason for it is that <clears throat> BMS knows that we have 97% but because the battery is cold then parts of the battery has been made uh, I mean part of the energy in the battery has been made unavailable but once the battery heats up you will get back to 97% oh interesting state of charge is dropping <laughs> Yeah, because the car is pulling a little bit of power, but it's um, not charging it. Or it could be that 
the balancing process is in progress right now. So uh, one thing I could do is to unplug and plug it in, but I think I'm not going to do it. So nominal full pack is still 70.1%, but one tab you want to see is this one. No, wait, not this one. The BMS tab here. You see that we have to go in. Okay, here we have all the uh, voltages on each module and they are not perfectly balanced, but right now we have only 10 millivolts of imbalance. I think that's still not optimal. Well, it's nine now, yeah. I think we want to get it even lower, maybe a five millivolt difference. Uh, but you also see that the cell voltage is only 4.14. Supposedly, <laughs> when the battery is new, or if everything is optimal, it should be close to 4.2 volts. That's my claim. So I think I would just let the car sit here for a couple of hours. Maybe it's doing the whole, you know, burning, burning the high cells uh, to balance it. And that will, that will naturally cause the state of charge to drop. So we're going to give it a little bit more time before we finally give up. Yeah. All right, it's been two and a half hours now. The car's been just sitting here, charging finished. And now let's take a look at the data. So yeah, if you look here, it's still charging complete. Nothing has changed there. And according to the screen here, we are not pulling any power from the plug, even though the car could do it. But um, same here, 96%. But you see that uh, two and a half hours ago, we had 96.8%. Now we're down to 96.1, so we actually lost a little bit of uh, juice there, 0.7%. Uh, and the temperature hasn't really changed that much. I mean, it's 13, uh, that, that's really no problem. Outside temperature right now is, you can see it here, it's five degrees Celsius. But interestingly, if you switch over to the, uh, the BMS tab here, oh, okay, it keeps going up and down. This one here, two, okay, yeah, yeah, there we go. I'm going to zoom in to see better. Uh, two and a half hours ago, it was at nine millivolt. Now it's jumping between six and seven millivolt. And the voltage here has slightly dropped, but I think this is the part of the, the balancing, not the um, uh, calibration, but I think actually calibration and balancing, they are somewhat related. So, the cell difference here is slowly dropping. <laughs> so this is also what I've heard you're supposed to do is that you charge the car to 100% and then you actually have to wait many, many hours. So seems like two and a half hours is not enough. I'm just gonna stay here unplugged and we're gonna check back now. So it's four in the afternoon. We're gonna check back more in the evening and see if the cell difference, uh, voltage difference has uh, decreased or not. It has now been six hours since the previous checkpoint and let's check the stats now. So according to the display, we're down to 93%. So the charge is past 10 in the evening now. And oops, hang on, let me adjust here for you. Yeah, okay. So um, previously, six hours ago, around four in the afternoon, we had 96.1%. Now we're down to 93.9. You so see, it is slowly dropping, but I think this is the result of the battery balancing. So we are not doing any calibration yet. We still need to balance it also. And oh, let me see, it's kind of hard to read. I'm going to adjust this. Yeah, okay, there we go. So previously we had seven millivolt difference, cell difference. The voltage has dropped, but that's fine. But you see, I'm not sure what the heck is going on, but I, from what I heard, as long as the state of charge is above 90%, the car will be constantly burning off the high cells and then balancing it. So you see that the cell difference keeps dropping and dropping. So first I thought about uh, trying to plug it in again, whatever, but uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna let the car do its thing because I think right now <laughs> the, the balancing is going on and then hopefully we can do some calibration, whatever. So we're just gonna leave the car here overnight and then tomorrow morning we see how it's going. It is now midnight. It's been another two, almost two and a half hours. And I think this is the end. I'm gonna show you now. We, we're gonna give up for now, yeah.
So see, we are suddenly at 98%. Um, a couple of hours ago, the car, oh, the car started charging. It was down to 94% of what they were, and then it started charging, and now we had 98%, and then it, then it stopped charging again. Charging, it says charging complete. <laughs> uh, it's still five degrees Celsius outside. And um, you see here, oh, the, huh, okay. I, I think I, ca I kept the, the keep climate on for a little bit, so the battery heater actually ran for a little bit. That's why the battery temperature is at 20 degrees Celsius, but that shouldn't matter too much. So the thing is that, we can simply not go past 98 percent it will not go to 100 percent i tried everything uh we still have 70.1 uh, kilowatt hour uh, nominal full pack so i think this is it i'm going to let me just show you something i'm gonna from from this uh, standpoint i'm going to test degradation whatever number we find here is what i will count as degradation unfortunately it seems like it could be around had 12 to 13 percent degradation which is actually not too bad over here by the way the the imba the, the cell imba has had not increased a little bit we're still not at 4.2 volt it seems like one one effect of the degradation is that we can simply not charge the battery to 4.2 uh, volts anymore so uh, i think this is the the part of the degradation really Irre irreversible uh, so let me remind you again once more. Oh, sorry for the white balance here. Um, for you guys who don't know the history behind this car, this is a Tesla Model S P85 from 2013. I call it Millennium Falcon. This is my very first Tesla. I owned it between uh, 2013 and 2016. But at <clears throat> after one year of ownership, there was a problem with the. Uh, with the battery pack so it was replaced under warranty and we have now a new revision d battery pack uh, so the you see here the the kilometer the battery pack has done about two hundred sixty thousand kilometers and then yeah so but i on the end uh, i have to make another video where i do the actual degradation test because um we can't just look at this number and say ah oh, the degradation is that much no we actually have to drive it uh, charge it to whatever 98 percent and then drive it down to zero until it stops. And one side effect of battery aging is that the, the internal resistance increases, which means that you can't trust this number. We have to actually see how many kilowatt hour we get out of the battery. But okay, so uh, this is gonna be the end of the, uh, the attempt. I, I'm not gonna say I successfully calibrated or balanced the battery, but at least I tried my best now to balance it. Yeah. And this is the preparation for um, for the uh, degradation test. So again, like let me repeat, this is not normal operation of the car. Normally, you just charge to ninety percent, you discharge to whatever twenty ten percent, and that's it. So I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.